All right, guys, day two of the fast. And I just want to start this video because I think it's important to be accountable. I fucked up. I gave in, guys. I gave in and got some um, no sugar coke. But we're still going to continue, you know what I mean? Just, just because you fuck up, just because you slip up, you make a mistake, doesn't mean that you don't keep trying, you know what I'm saying? Um, so day one, day one was filled with an avalanche, an avalanche of like cravings and absolute bombardment, man. Like towards the afternoon, it was almost like being a drug addict. If, if you've ever been addicted to drugs or, you know, addicted to sex or, you know, addicted to anything, um, and then once the hit wears off, you get the constant cravings, you know what I mean? Um, that's what it was like yesterday. Like, I was craving food that I don't even really eat, like brownies, um, chips, just weird shit that I don't normally eat in my day-to-day -day life. So... It's um, it's probably like 10 a.m. right now, maybe, on day two. And so far, so good, right? Besides the drink, actually. That drink is not water. Um, so I did give in there. But besides, like, cravings and that, they're pretty sweet. Um, I'm not really getting bombarded so far. Um, we'll obviously see how the rest of the day goes. Um, I did find it odd that... Um, I bought coke because yesterday I was just craving food out the wazoo like it was like my brain just wanted the most fattiest unhealthiest junk it could imagine um, and I haven't had any cravings for food so far today which is good because it's going to make it easier um, but I guess that's probably because I bought the coke right the coke is probably satisfying some kind of like craving some kind of comfort you know what I mean um but yeah so we're going to continue the fast um I will break the fast on Sunday I'm going to be meeting up with some lads from the community defense league I believe they're called um have a chat with them have a feed and um go from there but yeah so we, we did fuck up but we're still gonna continue the journey because so many times in my life, man, and I'm sure for you guys as well, there's been something that you wanted to do and then you failed and then you're like, oh, we're screw it, I'm gonna throw in the towel. But I think it's important to just keep going, you know what I mean? It's like getting into a boxing match and as soon as someone smacks you in the jaw, you're like, oh shit, that hurt, what am I doing here? I'm gonna, you know, surrender or forfeit. No, you, you keep going, you know what I mean? You're going to get punched a few times. But it's all about the discipline to, to keep moving forward. And so, yeah, so I thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a lot of writing. Um, I'm going to be really um, putting in work. Um, in regards to like interview questions so then that's something I really struggle with but um, I've got to do it you know what I mean and I will do it and today's the day so I'll be writing out a lot of questions um, a lot of different questions as well for different kinds of people and as well as work on the constitution for the charity that we're going to start um, as well as learn basic structures and things like that. And um, yeah, so get the ball rolling with that. Um, and once, once, the, um, once I have enough written down, I'll probably start looking at the registration documents themselves and start filling out those. Um, and then once the charity you know, is to a point where I can submit for review, then I'll start really trying to pump out the shirts as well so we can do our first fundraiser. And because I, I want to I wanna wait until the, the charity's near to being registered 
because that way when we do the fundraiser it can be tax deductible if you want you know what i mean and that's that's a nice thing for you guys as well as the money can be legally accounted for anyway so that way i don't have to like worry about um you know people thinking some shady shit or i don't have to worry about um so much you know it just makes it easier you know what i mean um so yeah so that's this is today's video, just a quick update of how I'm doing, and hopefully today goes well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I am pushing to get interviews done. It is hard, harder than I thought, um, because I, I don't really want to do random street interviews just yet. I will do them in the future, but for now, I would like to focus on really in-depth conversations with people where it's a you know pre predetermined situation. But eventually I'll do street interviews where I'll just, you know, run up on a mofo and, and ask them some questions. But for now, I, I just want it to be, you know, personal and build connections. So, yeah, much love.